All right, so mommy, that's me, and Reagan, and Mama T, or Tuka the Tank, she's up ahead. We're going for a little walk on the old Hinman Settler Road. We absolutely love it out here. It's a nice way to center myself and to really think about life. And every time I'm out here, things pop into my head. And I always tell myself I'm gonna write them down or that's a video or that's a blog post. And I never actually do it, but I'm thinking maybe I should start. Um, so this is, this is gonna be the first one. So anyway, I uh, went and got some contacts today and ran into an old boss and I'm gearing up, Ooh, hold on, we're losing my love here. She just conked out, I'm gonna hold her head a little bit. <laughs> She's got her cousin's hat on. Thank you Rocky for the hat. Um, anyway, I ran into an old boss and I've got about four weeks left of maternity leave and I'm supposed to be headed back to work. Uh, I have to tell you, really have absolutely no interest in working in corporate environments again. Um, I also have done a huge collection of jobs in healthcare over 18 years, ranging everything from cleaning toilets to a vice president in my last role. And I think it's time to take a break. Though, I did get an offer to do some data reporting and kind of, actually I really enjoy that, so might dabble in that part time for a little bit. But I'm hoping that at some point, some of my work with Nick on the farm will take off so I can do that full time. Um, I'm trying to take some classes and learn what I can about increasing our online sales because Really, the only time our online sales do really well is in, you know, right around Christmas time. The rest of the year it kind of falls flat. We get some orders. Shout out to Ron. <laughs> I think Ron places the most orders with us. We love how loyal he is. Thank you again, Ron. Um, so anyway, I'm thinking of taking some different classes. Maybe uh, video marketing, because that really has taken off a lot. Everybody does all these fancy things with different camera angles and I don't know. I do okay with some of it, but mine is kind of more, I don't know, do you dare call it grassroots? It's more <laughs> unedited, unplanned, not beautiful. Just be on the lookout. There's a bunch of bears in this section of woods right now. We jumped a few, what was it last year? Maybe the year before? And they actually ran up one of the trees so, I only have one dog with me, not two. This one's a little more pokey and close to me, so I worry that we'd be too close before she'd notice. Anyway, um, yeah, anyway, so my video skills could probably use an improvement, especially if we're gonna market outside of Vermont. Um, and let's be real, every Vermonter knows a sugar maker, so it's pretty hard to sell maple syrup to your own state. <laughs> um, we've expanded some seasonings. That's kind of taken off in more stores than our maple, which is nice. Um, so we're gonna keep working that option too. Um, my public speaking instructor from years ago would be cringing at all my ums that are incorporated in here. So hopefully you're ignoring those and not paying attention to how winded I am. Being uh, eight weeks postpartum after a c-section, I'm still very much out of shape, but I love to walk, so I'm gonna keep doing that. I just need to do it a little faster so my Fitbit registers the fact that I've actually done some exercise, because right now it's so leisurely and slow, it doesn't, it counts my steps, but that's it. It doesn't end up counting as exercise, I know. It's sad, but it is what it is. I went from hiking 27 miles <laughs> in a day to barely being able to walk a mile without being winded. But, such is life, I'll get there. I'm not complaining, I got a beautiful little baby girl tucked in my front little pouch here, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. 
<laughs> um, let's see what else. So yeah, social media. I also really need to up my game in terms of accounting because we have a couple of different, um, what do you want to call it? I guess specialties. I don't know. I don't think you call it specialties, but a couple different areas that we are working. We have maple. We have value-added products, so that's our things like our seasonings. I guess I could I should call it revenue lines or whatever. Um, and then we have Christmas trees. And then we have, um, well, we'll soon to have a property that we're hoping to rent out um, in the future. So trying to keep all of those things separate, making sure I get the appropriate LLCs um, for each one, which I think we're going to have to add a couple based on some of the stuff that I've learned already. So we'll be doing that. Um, let's see. I got my tax ID number already, which is nice. That's all squared away. Um, and then I just got approved for some affiliate marketing, which is basically me sharing products on my website or on my social news. So if I had it already lined up, I'd be like, so, you know that really awesome fire ring that you saw at Tractor Supply? You should buy it. Something along those lines, I guess. I don't know. We'll learn as we go. Uh, so I'm playing around with that, or will be. Of course, my time to work is a little limited. Um, though, if I'm lucky, some days Reagan will sleep for three hours in the morning and then like an hour and a half in the afternoon, something like that. But I've also been trying to put her in her bassinet or in her swing or car seat or anything so that she's not sleeping on me because when she sleeps on me, oh, well, when she sleeps on me, she, we get like three hours. If she sleeps independently, um, so far, max time is up to an hour and 15 minutes, though it was more along the lines of 45 minutes and she wakes up. Um, sometimes she'll fall right back to sleep and then you might get another half an hour out of her, maybe. But that only happened once, so I shouldn't say maybe. Um, but anyway, what happens is she sleeps independently for about 45 minutes, which gives me enough time to run around and do some of the lifting. Sorry, my nose is running a little. It's gross. I just did it. Real life for you. Um, <laughs> so I can run around and do a couple of things with her, or without her, like that require lifting. Oh, come on, puppy dog. She's coming. That old girl's getting some gray on her. That's Mama T. Um, she's so protective of Reagan. She loves her so much. She pretty much doesn't leave us. Even if Nick tries to take her to work, she won't go. <laughs> she does everything she can to stay home with us. Um, anyway. Mm, well, I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of glass here. That's too bad. It's one of my favorite little walks out here. It's usually pretty nice. Um, yeah, anyway. So, trying to do accounting, trying to do some social media. Oh, affiliate marketing. We'll see how that goes. And then I also was learning a little bit about drop shipping. I think that's what it's called. Where basically I sell other products as a middleman. Um, so, I'm entertaining some of those things. Also, like pretty much anything I can do. If I had a little bit more time, I'd have a farm stand set up. But Nick's got a lot on his plate. And like I said, my time to do things is pretty limited. And I only just barely get to the point where she sleeps for about three hours if she's on me during the day. See, I'm winded. It's so bad. But I'm talking too, right? That counts for something. <laughs> um... Yeah, so she just barely started sleeping longer sections or sessions during the day. Before that, it was like just nursing constantly. Um, I guess that's the name of the game. So I'm that person who wanted to do everything that I possibly could that was best for my baby, which includes breastfeeding. But the image you have in your mind when you say you're going to do this versus what actually happens is totally different. Like, I had no idea 
I mean, I knew it can be a challenge to get her to watch and to nurse and stuff, but I had no idea the amount of time that it takes and that depending on what she's going through, she could nurse for 45 minutes and be done or she could nurse for two hours or she could nurse for four hours, which has happened to me. Um, <laughs> I had no idea that, you know, I mean, I would tell myself, well, she just ate, she can't be hungry again. There must be something else going on with her. Maybe it's gas, maybe she's overtired. But apparently, no, she could just be hungry again and it could be cluster feeding. Anyway, had no idea this was a thing and that it would take tons and tons and tons of time. Um, I'm still at it, I'm still doing it. I will as long as I possibly can. Um, and as long as she continues to be full and have this whole feeding pumping routine that I'm on, drinking mother's milk tea, eating lactation cookies, which contain flaxseed meal. If you've ever had flaxseed meal, it makes mama gassy too. <laughs> and, oh my goodness. So, needless to say, it's been an adventure and it's been a bit more of a time, <laughs> a time suck than I had realized it would be, but I enjoy cuddling with her. I know it won't last forever. And I tolerate the neck and the back and the arm pain so that I can just love her up. And that's what we do. So we're just doing it to the best of our ability. And every once in a while, if I think I'm not meeting her needs and she's really, really hungry, then I keep pumping and I've given her formula a couple of times. I'm proud to say not recently. Um, I'd like to, I don't know, I guess I have some sort of thing in my head that it's like the non-healthy version of milk for my baby. It's like the, the processed, I don't know, SpaghettiOs versus like a home-cooked Italian meal or something like that. Which is ridiculous, I know. I need to get it out of my head. I, and sometimes I'm feeding it to her and I feel so like inadequate. Which I also, I know, is absolutely ridiculous, but that's the truth. <laughs> um, yeah. This morning, though, we had a great little snuggle session. She's getting a little bit bigger, I guess. Her neck is stronger, so we broke the rule and she, she fell asleep on my chest. I had myself barricaded on each side with... Actually, one side was the couch, the other side I blocked up with pillows. Um, and I had both my arms around her and I didn't really sleep, I guess. Probably dozed a little. I know I did because I had some weird dream. So, but when I looked at the clock, it was only like 15 minutes that had gone by. So, I must have just dozed off for a quick second. But we snuggled and it's so nice. She's so sweet. Oh, well, I guess I'm going to have to end this one because my husband is calling me. He's probably wondering what I'm doing, so till next time, guys. <laughs>